everybody. This is Woody's Wax Packs where I am opening up my vintage retro non-sports trading cards. They really are every theme, cartoon, retro movie, vintage movie, whatever you want to call it, nostalgic. Ah, one of the best TV shows ever. All right, uh, we will be opening a pack today and I will be opening it right in front of you and offering a little a little bit of trivia in the process. Let's see what we'll be opening today. What do you think? I think you're very beautiful. Return to Oz, one of my favorite movies of all time. However, this this one has six stickers, one stick of gum. Uh, actually, I had two of these packs in the box. So I will be opening this one and showing you what was in the second pack as well. Let's open it and find out what's inside. This one has Jack the pumpkin head on the cover and the other one that I have already opened, it has TikTok. Both. Awesome movie, go see it. Okay. Okay, both packs. Uh, they have six stickers in each. Okay, so they are actual stickers. Stickers and not cards, but I will not be um, unsticking them, I guess is the term. I'm not quite sure. So I will show you the front and back so you'll get a good idea. Okay. Oh, and on the back, there is a bit of a, a trading card look to it. There's a scene on there. And let's see, can you see that? There we go. This is one of those movies that are that is really appreciated. Um, more appreciated now than it was when it was released. It's something totally different from Disney, from their usual stuff. And it's actually quite dark. If you, you watch it now as an adult, you pick up on themes that uh, you probably wouldn't have picked up on when it was released. Let's see. Okay, this is uh, part of apparently a bigger scene. So if I find them, I will piece them together for you. They're in fairly good shape. Like I don't see none of the corners are peeled up. My wife found this on um, on Etsy, not eBay, but she found these on Etsy, and I swore I would never open them, but I just couldn't wait. So I figured. Instead of me just opening in the in the office or studio, uh, let's let's put it on YouTube for everybody to see. This was one of the weirder characters in there, though. I mean, I know it's in the book, but if you haven't read the book and then you watch Wizard of Oz and then. You see the movie, you're like, why is there a chicken? There's a chicken following her around and talking. But then, as you watch it as an adult, and you put things together, it's actually quite sad what happens to the chicken. Well, my theory about what happens to the chicken. Oh, there's the gum. It is stuck. Oh, man. Okay. So, this piece of gum is stuck to the card. I don't know if I'm just gonna rip it. Um, I'll do that later. Well, uh, there you go. That's the gum from 1980. Let's see how old this gum is. 
1985. So this gum is from 1985. There is another from the scene. Once I get them all, I'll piece them together for you, but I do not have them all. And this is another, like one of those just literally off the wall characters in that movie that if if you're just watching it for the first time, like what is going on here? But I remember watching that movie a long time ago and then re-watching it recently and absolutely loving it on a, a whole nother level than, than the first time I saw it. You can kind of pick it apart and there's a, there's a, there's a whole lot of behind the scenes trivia that hopefully I, I, I will have been sharing with you while we were opening these. But it's so interesting, the, the behind the scenes story about the director and, and the movie, the reception of it, um, the making of, and just how different it was from the original and what people were expecting and what what the product was, but I I prefer this one to the original. And I know that I might be in the minority by saying that, but I, I, I can rewatch this one easier than I can rewatch the other one. The original classic. And one of the best characters are the wheelers. I absolutely love those. Um, they're kind of terrifying. They're kind of terrifying first, but they're just so well done, and the movie is, is just such on a different level. And I, I loved how they were depicted on there. And the last card. Thank you for opening these stickers. They're not trading cards, but they were stickers in there. Uh, thank you for opening these with me. Uh, I know that the actual collectors are probably losing their mind right now because I am not handling with care and uh, properly stacking them. And I have the gum, the oils are ruining it. I, I know, but it's just for fun. But thank you for opening these. If you have not seen this movie, uh, rent it. But I think it's on Apple TV. You can purchase it. I'm not sure if you can rent it, but it, you know, if you're like into the cult movies, the uh, this Howard the Duck and stuff like that, uh, that are kind of forgotten movies, this is well worth a watch. Thank you for opening these with me. Thank you for watching Woody's Wax Packs. Come back and we will open up even more of these awesome, nostalgic, entertaining, non-sports trading cards. Thank you.